Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy. And welcome to the finale. We are going to be taking on the Elite Four and the champion, Cynthia. Now, I did do some catching of Pokemon off camera. Um, sorry if my throat is kind of hoarse. I just did a full take on this and realized you, my capture card wasn't showing any of the stuff I was trying to point out. So that's lovely. But I did do some stuff off camera, and mainly stuff is, uh, you know, catching Pokemon off screen. So, I am going to try to catch them all in the game. But uh, for right now, I'm going to try to see them all first, so I can at least get the Poke Radar. So, all I need is Turtwig's uh, full evolution. Piplup's full evolution. I need to trade Machoke. With my boyfriend and get my champ. And I finally got Drifloon because it's Friday. I did not have to do an exploit that pe not really an exploit, but time travel and all that. I didn't have to do any of that. I just waited till Friday. I had no time constraint on it or anything like that. Um That's gonna be Spirit Tomb. I am close to getting Spirit Tomb. I will do my best in the uh, comments down below, or not in the comments, but in, in the description to link a website uh, that I used personally to kind of find all of the NPCs. Um, there are more NPCs on there, but they kind of randomly spawn generate. But a strip that they're going to be talking about, a strip under uh, in the underground, is all of the tunnels that connect from one loading spot to another. And the loading spot is where you can run into Pokemon in the underground. Now, all of those tunnels that connect from one to the next that you don't that you go and travel through, that's called a strip. Now, for the most part, the NPCs that they have marked spawn relatively close to where they have it marked. However, for me, I have known that there are some that just don't spawn around where they say, but it is in the correct strip. So just look around the entire area where in the general area where they have those NPCs marked and you should be able to find them. If you happen to find one of the randomly generated NPCs, you'll know whenever it's a different named NPC than the one you're hunting. Just enter a room after you talk to them because it does, it does count towards Spirit Tomb. But all you need to do is just enter a room, exit, and then check them again. And the other NPC should spawn there. If it's not there and you have no NPCs, enter room, exit, until you're able to find at least one of the NPCs there. I have talked to almost every single one of the NPCs that you can get in the underground, except for the area that you can uh, access when you get to the fight area. I can't access the fight area until after I defeat the champion. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. But after I do that, I'm going to go talk to more NPCs and I'll be able to encounter Spirit Tomb. You can and you can shiny hunt Spirit Tomb as well. You just got to save in front of it and soft reset in front of the uh, hallowed tower where you'll be able to find Spirit Tomb. Just know that if you catch it, then you need to go back to the underground and talk to 32 more uh, trainers that are downstairs. And that is going to be a big pain in the rear end. So I highly suggest if you're going to shiny hunt Spirit Tomb, you do it the first time you're able to encounter it because it's just going to be better off and easy that way. So I need to get Spirit Tomb. I need to fully evolve Gibble because I did catch a Gibble off screen. I caught a Munchlax and fully evolved it. I caught an unknown. And then I need to get Carnivine, which... I was reading that it's kind of a rare spawn in the Safari Zone, but you won't be able to get it until after you defeat the champion in Elite Four. So hopefully I'll be able to get a Carnivine after I defeat Cynthia um, and be able to at least run into it, not really catch it, but just at least run into it and see it. That will count for what I'm doing. And then I need to catch Finian and level it up. I finally caught a Fetus and I leveled it up using the beauty method so if you don't know what the beauty method is if you want to evolve phoebus and you have a prism scale let it hold the prism scale trade it and it'll turn into melodic however if you don't want to trade your phoebus because it is a pretty rare spawn in this game if you don't want to trade it all you got to do is feed it dry blue poffins and there's a bunch of recipes that you can look up online that will work i typically used raz orin citrus and the prism berries and 
basically made it when I was making the poffins, and I made uh, dry blue poffins using those. Now, if you want to use those berries, those are what I used. They do work for making dry poffins, and it all you got to do is just keep feeding them the dry poffins. And when the beauty is maxed out, take your Phoebus, go in battle, or use a rare candy on it, level it up, and when it levels up, it'll evolve into my Lodic. That's how you're able to evolve it without trading, and that's how I did it. And then all I have left is what I believe to be the three lake fairies. Ooxie, Mesprit, and Azelf. Um, once I encounter those three, I will have encountered every Pokemon that you need in order to get the Poke Radar. And once I do that, I will start shiny hunting on live streams. And I can't wait to do any of that stuff because it's just something I like to do post-game shiny hunting but in this game it has like a seven percent of your chain breaking even if you follow all the steps correctly so it is also a pain in the rear end so we'll just see how it goes i'll also be doing the masuda method um i need to get the pokey radar first in order to get a ditto and then there is a <clears throat> excuse me there is a trading room if you want to get a foreign ditto the trading room i saw you want to go in and use a link code and you want to use four 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 eight four 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 eight and once you go in there there'll be a bunch of people that should be out on the global room and you should be able to trade a ditto for a foreign ditto just make sure it is a foreign ditto to the country you're at considering i am in the united states i will be looking for any ditto that is outside of the united states whether it's japan um whether it's japan or chinese or uh, German, any of those other ones, then all of those will work for the Masuda method. And I will definitely be Masuda method hunting some of these Pokemon just because they may be a bit harder to find like Phoebus. So I can't wait for doing all of that. This is the finale. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head into it. I did come up here and get uh, the HM uh, waterfall. So if you guys can see uh, right there, how waterfall. And if you want to get waterfall and you don't know where to get it, all you got to do is talk to this girl right here, Jasmine. Once you beat the gym, come down and talk to her, and then she'll give you the HM waterfall. And that basically allows you to go up waterfalls and back down waterfalls while surfing. Now, I am caught up to where I literally realized you guys couldn't see anything, and this is my second take, as I said. So, let's go over here. Let's make sure I'm going in the right area first, because you do have to surf to get to the Elite Four. I Is it up here? No. So, I do believe we are going to have a battle and a double battle. Here's a Mantine, I, or a Mantike. I can try to catch it, considering that I didn't get to catch the other one. I did try running into one. Um, As I said, I did try to... Um, I don't have any net balls, do I? I don't have a dive ball. Or maybe I don't work. Let's try that one. But, um. No, I didn't. Okay. Hopefully, I don't kill it. Because I have a funny feeling I'm going to kill it. And I don't want to. Um, As you guys can see right here. I'm going to take my hand off it because I don't want to accidentally use it. I do still have my Master Ball. I didn't use my Master Ball to catch Palkia. I'm saving this Master Ball for Shiny Rayquaza. The reason why, and I know a lot of people don't like using the Master Ball for Shinies because it's a cheap way of doing it. Personally, Rayquaza is one of my favorite legendaries. And after Shiny hunting for Palkia and that thing not coming up Shiny for me at all. Mm -mm, if I get one coming up, I'm Master Balling it. I don't care. I would have used the Master Ball on Palkia had he actually shown up Shiny for me when I was hunting it. Like I said, I went close to 2,000 resets, still nothing. Um, I had just given up at that point because I do need to finish recording this series and be able to get out for the um, for the holidays, for my holiday trip. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, but um, hopefully this doesn't kill it. It's not very effective, but nope, it's going to kill it. Yep, I should have known. I should have known better. I'm gonna put my head headphone on before I drop my controller. Um, but no, I mean, 
I'm I'm completely fine not catching Palkia Shiny. If um if I really want to shiny hunt Palkia, then I'll just I'll like I said in the last video, I'll make another profile, shiny hunt it on there, and then if I get it, whenever Pokemon Home gets accepted, I'll transfer the shiny Palkia from that account over to my main account so I can actually be able to use it. But that's if I really, 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 really want to. And I'm completely fine without it right now. I would really love to have one, but I'm not I'm not too hurt about it. I just affected one that has no effect on it. That's great. That's great. Because I was talking. I, I didn't see that. And it doesn't affect Wingle because it's a flying type. That's going to hurt it, though. Awesome. And I did level up more of my Pokemon off camera just because I want to be leveled up enough to be able to hang on, let me go back. I do want to level up enough just so I can actually uh stand a chance towards Cynthia because she is one of the harder trainers and hardest trainers in this game. And she's even harder if you catch Heatran. Because that makes her guard chomp level 88. For some reason, that makes it level 88. So, not fun. Um, I may try fighting the Elite Four after I get Heatran, but I don't know. That'll come way after I do all the other stuff. Um, I have seen that some people were... They asked me on Twitter, and they asked if I was going to do Shiny Hunting for Shaman. Shaman is technically not in the game. Of, not allowed in the game yet. It is in the game, but you have to glitch to get to it. And the way you do it is you use the surf, uh, the surf on land glitch. I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to do it because personally, that takes up the experience of it, of having a fun event. So when Shaman does become available in the event, then I'll do the event. Um, people have already found that if you tried using the surf glitch to get to Dark Rice Island, New Moon Island, um then you will not find Darkrai at all because you need to be asleep for it. So there is going to be an event just like there was in the older games where you're able to um, get Darkrai and people have already found that it's not going to be shiny lock. Shaman is not shiny lock because people have already found it shiny. Um, if you do want to look up how to do it, just know... Um, you may be risking your account getting banned because if Nintendo finds out you've been doing any glitches, they take it pretty seriously. I do not want to have any of that happen, so I highly advise you not to do it. I am being very serious and stern when I say that. You may lose your account. Do not do it. It is very risky. I do not. I don't even want to do it on my account because I have too many shinies on my Sword and Shield game. And I plan on shining hunting on this game, and I put too much too too much work in this game already to get banned from it. So I'm not going to do any of that kind of stuff. I highly advise you guys don't even do it. Um, if you are curious, just watch people do it on YouTube, but don't do it yourself. Um, that being said, just wait for when the event comes out. When the event comes out, I will more than likely make an uh, announcement on my channel and on Twitter. Hey, uh, they have an uh, they have an event coming out, and I'll probably record myself doing the event myself, just because it reminds me of when I was younger and I was doing these events. I always loved the events in the older games because they did have a small story that went with it, and it just kind of reminds me of you know when I was younger and playing these games. It just it gives me that nostalgia feeling for it. So um, I don't plan on doing it because that would really ruin the nostalgia feeling for me and i don't suggest you guys do it because you could get in some serious trouble with nintendo and lose your account so yeah just take my advice on that um but i do think it's cool that people have found that you know they're not shiny lock so i think it's pretty cool people found that you know hey if you want to shiny hunt when the event comes out you can shiny hunt for them um 
I don't know if I'll shiny hunt for uh, Darkrai when it becomes available. Just because Darkrai doesn't really have a a big different. It's not su it's not super different. It's like a slight color change for Darkrai, and it's not that I don't like you know getting a shiny legendary. I think it would be cool or mythical. I think it'd be cool, but um, Darkrai is just I kind of like it how it is. So I pretty sure I won't be shiny hunting for uh, Darkrai. Uh, Shaman and Deoxys are different. I may shiny hunt for them if Deoxys won't be shiny locked. Uh, and if Arceus is not going to be shiny locked, then I'll try to shiny hunt Arceus. Um, because I do remember there was an event in the original Diamond and Pearl games where you could get Arceus. But you could only get it through the event. Now, people have already said that since they're already doing Shaman and Darkrai, they're pretty certain, and I can kind of side with it, you know, take it with what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but I think they're, they're definitely going to be allowing you to get Deoxys and um, uh, Arceus as well. And if they're not shiny locking uh, Shaman or Darkrai, I'm pretty sure they won't uh, shiny lock um I'm pretty sure they won't shiny lock Arceus or Deoxys. No, that's a dead end, so I just need to go up. And again, if you haven't already, go and get something to drink and uh, snack on while I make my way up to the Elite Four because... This is definitely going to be a longer video, considering this is the finale. Well, at least the finale on the way to the story. Everything else really doesn't pertain to the story story. They're just little side objectives. And I will do my best to kind of uh, live stream with if my internet is, you know, going to work with me. Come over here and pick up this item. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to fight this sailor. So. Yeah. I will definitely. If my internet works with me. I will definitely do my best to live stream. Me soft resetting for Rayquaza. And doing all of the other events. When they do become available. And again. I'm also going to be doing a let's play. Or a playthrough. Um, of. Legends Arceus. So, I cannot wait. January... Oh, I cannot run. This is a trainer battle. Um, I'll swap, but I'm going to need to heal him. I can't wait because January's got a lot of stuff in store for us. Um, I do realize that they did show off what... Um, Hisui and Voltorb looks like and I think it looks super cool um I also saw Cleaver which is an evolution of Scizor which is it's a regional evolution of Scizor and, and I think it's gonna be freaking cool when it comes out uh I can't wait for it it definitely gives me Breath of the Wild vibes um it looks it just looks super cool. It looks like a big map. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to pre-order the game and do the playthrough for you guys for that because it just looks so freaking cool. Alright. <laughs> Again, I am still kind of getting over this cough, but I have actually gotten a lot better. Astrocon. Which. But I have gotten a lot better. Because I was. Where I had. A, in order to do the playthrough. I had to take like cough drops every five seconds. I had it to where I had to take a drink every five minutes. You guys aren't opposed to seeing me drink something on camera. I do it all the time because I talk a lot. But. Um. Oh, that's not good. But, 
That is not good. That's going to hurt. Come on. Come on, come on. But, no. I, I, you know, I've been getting a lot better. I've been taking the medication and everything. The costs are up. Uh, pretty much resting my voice. Drinking warm tea and honey. Hopefully this kills it. Awesome. Benian's getting leveled up. Can't wait. Switch. Once we get Luminian, I think it's at level 31 that it could be. I'll have just the few that I need to get. And I do know after post-game that you can get all three starters from uh, Generations 1 through 4. So I could just catch Piplup and Turtwig in the Underground. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so I may just do that. I need to heal up my team real quick because... Ah, wild Pokemon. I don't want to take too much time on the wild uh, or the other trainer battles. I mean, it may not be a bad idea just because I may actually be able to level up my guys, but I should probably use a super repel, right? <laughs> I should probably do that. I actually have a couple of them. Alright. Let's go ahead. Go into the bag. Other items. Super repel. There we go. Yep. Waterfall. And there we are. Victory road ahead. I don't think I can fly back to this area. And I was kind of hoping I could. I may have to wait. I'll have to check when I can, you know, check the map. Um, but I may fly back to uh, the town I was in before. Just so I can get some more stuff. Unless there's going to be a Pokemart there. Just so I can stock up on heals. Uh, it broke me once, but that only added to my resolve. What? Okay. Don't know what broke you. Victory Road. It lives up to that lofty name. Just go ahead and heal up. <sighs> Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna check the map. Can I fly back to this area? No. But you know what? I may be able to fly back to the uh, Pokemon League. So let's head in here. I do remember. Uh, 
Na, I got that. Okay, so no, uh, no to that. Yes. I may come back and just get the items later. Because I don't want to be like taking up too much time trying to get the items. If you guys know what I mean. I made sure to level Infernape up. I just want to be able to stock up on some potions and stuff. Nice. Finian grew to level 29. No. Doesn't need to learn safeguard. Blissey. Eat. A fighting type move that is welcoming for Blissey. I did finally get Blissey off camera too, by the way. I had to walk with it, had to hold the Soothe Bell and all that kind of stuff. And I had to have my, uh, the unevolved form of Chansey. I forgot the name of it. A penny. I had to have it hold an Oval Stone and level it up during the daytime. And then after that, give it the Soothe Bell and make it become friendly and then level it up and all that kind of stuff. I love the evolution mechanics in the game. Like I said, if you ever get lost on something, Google is your best friend. That's exactly how I get through these games, is if I can't remember how something is done, Google. Google everything. Take them up. Ah. Uh, not this way. Do not remember. Let's break this. Hello. But yes, by the time you guys are all watching this, I do hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Because, yeah, this whole past year has just been really bad. Um, it hasn't been as bad as 2020. But it's definitely been right up there with it. Twenty twenty, I mean, I think after the year twenty twenty happened, I kinda just felt like I lost a year. Like it's weird. I feel like time in a way stood still because life was put on hold because of a virus. And I feel like I lost a year of my life and nothing. Like I feel I feel like I wasted a whole year. And I hate that. I really do. But there was really not anything we could really do because coronavirus came around and it was just one of those things that, you know, we had to deal with. And hopefully, you know, this year, ooh, I'm finally going to see Carnivine. Okay. So now I don't have to go and get it. Or I have to go catch it. Eventually, but... Now I don't have to go and see it. At the Safari Zone. Okay. Send out Carnivine. Thank you. But no, I hopefully... Uh, 2022 gets a little bit better. I know... 2021 wasn't as bad as 2020. But it wasn't any better. Maybe a little bit. Uh, I know... 
with everything where we're working on medications and stuff like that. Uh, I just can't wait for life to get back to normal. Because after 2020, uh, I felt like I had like nothing. Like I felt like I had lost a whole year. And that's why I kind of got back into streaming to give me something productive to do because I really wanted something productive to be able to do for 2021. And I got back into streaming and you know, my internet started to mess up, but then I just decided to, you know, make videos. Upload the videos for you guys, because I mean, as long as you guys are able to watch it and, you know, feel entertained and, you know, you guys have fun watching my videos and, you know, that, whether it's a live stream or a recorded video, if you guys are enjoying yourselves watching it, that makes me happy because it means you guys are actually enjoying the content. And my resolution, because I haven't really talked about it very much, my resolution for the channel for 2021 and I've already been working on it but I want to get to at least a hundred subscribers like I want to at least get to 100 subscribers we're super close to 50 and I really hope we can possibly get the fifth uh 50 before the end of the year that would be freaking awesome if we could um but I do hope we can get to 100 uh during the year of 2022 so I said 2021 in the past week. My resolution for 2022 um, is we get to 100 subscribers because we got to 50 by the end of this year. And hey, that's still really good. That's still really good con like, you know, a following. And we're a small, you know, small channel like mine. So, uh, I know I have to get on the boat. Yes. Shit. Hold on. There's no way around it. Okay, so this isn't the area to be up. Down here. Oh. Uh, I am lost, guys. I am lost. I'm gonna be going through my super repels like crazy. Here. That really goes nowhere. Again, I'm going to go through my repels like super freaking quick. Already fought him. So... I'm so confused. I'm lost, guys. I may have to cut down a part of this video. 
because of how lost I am. I did it wrong. Okay. I did the little thing wrong, that's why. Okay. Oh. But, no. Back to what I was saying. Um. You know, that's my goal for 2022. For this next year. It still feels so weird to be saying 2022. Um, it just feels how fast. And me and my best friend, we were talking about this earlier today. You know, we were talking about... We were talking about, you know, how the Nintendo 64 was like 20 years ago. How we were like little, little kids playing the Nintendo 64. And we're only in our 20s. Me and her both. We're only in our 20s. I'm 24. She's 27. And it's like, dude, time needs to slow down. And I kind of agree with that. Like, I feel like time's moving so quick. And it's it's scary and to think about that. Like, Okay, I've finally seen the final evolution of Torterra. I just get so scared to think, you know, dude, 20 years ago, people were playing the Nintendo 64. And then the GameCube came out and it's like, what? You know, time is going quick. Like, it's that's scary. And it really is. Because I don't want time to go by so quick. And I, I'm going to get real here in a few, you know. Uh, it, it's I don't want time to go by so quick that my life just passes by me in a blink of an eye. And that's kind of like why I love just sitting back in the moment and enjoying all those, the, the little things as best as I can. Because I did that wrong again, didn't I? I don't think I can do this this way. No. But it's like... You know, that's like my biggest fear is time goes by so quick that we literally just our, our life passes by us really quick. It's, it's pretty scary to think. And I don't know, like, I'm gonna be real, like, my depression come, like stems off the fact that, you know, I can sit in the room and have fun doing what I like to do, right? Like, I can have the most fun, not a, not one thing goes wrong in the entire day. I'm happy during the whole day, right? I'm doing the things that I like to do, but I get to thinking, you know, of all the times I had when I was a little kid and, you know as a teenager and stuff like that and then i kind of get to missing those times and it's like it's weird and i know that's part of growing up i do but it's just scary to think that you know time flew that quick and it seems to go by even quicker with each passing year and i just don't want time to uh you know, fly by so quickly. So, you know, sorry to get real for you guys for a moment, but uh, that's just the stuff that we were talking about earlier today and everything. But hopefully, you know, and then that's going to stem off another, like, another resolution I have is try to be happier because. If time is going to continue to fly by us, then 
I don't want me looking back at my time like, man, I was so depressed because I was scared time was flying by. And, you know, I, you know, I spent my time being depressed. Like, I want my time to be spent fun. Like, I want, I was happy. I had fun. So, that's one of my resolutions is, you know, try to be happy here. And not in, like, the sense of, you know, I gotta go to, like, therapy or anything like that. You know, just catch myself briefly every time I think about the past. Catch myself and try to just really live more in the moment because that's just something I really need to focus on. Just in the moment. Not the future. Not the past. Because if I do start thinking about the past, I do get depressed. And that's not what we want. We want to have happy times in 2022. So that's one of my other resolutions. If you guys have any other resolutions that you guys don't feel like you want to share, share them down in the comments down below. Uh, I'm definitely wanting to spend more time with my boyfriend, uh, my family and everything. Cherish all those moments that I have with them. And then one of mine and his resolutions is eventually moving uh moving away from this apartment so there may be like a vlog of us actually uh moving uh away from the apartment so yeah there may be a a vlog or something like that i don't really do vlogs on my channel but hey why not right uh, film me pretty much moving to our house or whatever. Um, but ta that time will definitely come and we won't, I won't be able to do any gameplays or live streams or anything like that because, you know, all of my equipment will be packed away to be, you know, moved safely away. And so I won't be doing videos. Uh, I may record a, just snippets of me talking about our move and everything. But, um, yeah, we're definitely wanting to move away from Arizona, uh, move back to Florida and everything. So, you know, he's kind of got the thought like, yeah, he wants to move back to Florida sooner than later. So, you know, when that day comes, I'll let you guys know, hey, you know. The channel is going to have slow upload because I'm going to have to edit everything from my laptop. And for some reason, my laptop has not been liking me editing these long videos. So for those of you who don't know, I do use iMovie to piece together the videos. So for when I'm doing live playthroughs like this and everything, I have everything recorded. I don't use, like, iMovie or anything like that to record. I use OBS and everything. All I need is just, like, a editing software to piece videos together. Because I use DaVinci Resolve to animate. Um, yes. I use DaVinci Resolve to animate my intro and my outro. And then I use uh, GIMP. Which is a um, open software version of uh, Photoshop. So I use GIMP to make all my stuff, like my logo and everything. I use DaVinci Resolve to animate all that stuff. And then I have all those pieces together. Like all of them are already made and rendered out. I just got to piece it together into one full video. And so I use iMovie. And now the big problem with this is when I use these, uh, when I make these bigger videos, iMovie likes to store a copy of it in their system folder. And with these longer episodes, I can maybe get one or two episodes. And then I have to completely delete my entire library. But... In order to keep my videos and everything, I download them from, you know, 
YouTube studios, if you're the content creator of the move of the videos you make, you can download them and all that. Um, basically I download my videos from YouTube studio and I put them on my hard drive just so I have the full final copy on my hard drive and I don't have to keep it anywhere. And it's on an external hard drive. So it's not taking space on my PC cause it can hog up a lot of PC space. Uh, but even if I try to compress the file to a smaller file size. Uh, what? I used a super repel. What? It's the same level as the one that's in front of my Pokemon. Because it knocked out my... So, yeah, that's not good. Hmm, I don't really want to use the max potion. Oh, there we go. Alright, we shouldn't have any more of those, uh, any more of that happening. I think I go up. Oh, we found Razor Claw. Okay, cool. That's going to be helpful for um, Sneevile. Then we come down here this way, right? Because there's a trainer right there. But, um... Yeah, so... When I do the uh, Legends Arceus... Uh, playthrough. I am definitely going to be storing those on separate uh, hard drives because it's gonna. They're gonna be long playthroughs. They're gonna be long videos, and the longer the video, the bigger the file size, and the harder it is to work with. Which is why I don't mind doing my Call of Duty videos because I can get quite a bit of those done and store quite a bit of them. Because when I compress them, they're smaller files. And they take literally no effort to, like, transfer over. And I can get them done with, like, back to back to back. I can get, like, a whole week's worth of videos done in, like, a week. In, in a day. So. Uh, not to say I couldn't do that with this. I definitely have been able to get a whole week's worth of videos done in a day with this playthrough. It just took a lot longer to transfer the files from... You know, PC to my MacBook. Alright, come on. If I had like $300 to throw down on a... Um, on an application, I would definitely try to get... Um, not procreate... Um, it's like a three hundred dollars uh, editing studio on MacBook, and it's really good. And a lot of YouTubers use it, but it's three hundred dollars. I don't know how I feel about that. It's got sturdy. It's got one HP left. Yep. And I have a feeling if I run into Randy, who, again, is our friend slash rival. Um, if I run into him, his Piplup's going to be fully evolved. I'll be able to run into that. He's probably going to want to battle before I do the Elite Four. And that way, I can actually see Empoleon. Never mind. <laughs> He's about to throw it in Polian. Uh, switch. Infernape. Well, that made it really easy to run into the Pokemon I need. Now I just need to get um, a champ and 
um, Spirit Tomb. And then the three, the three, whatchamacallit, the Lake Fairies. It's not going to do too much. I guess I could have Thunder Waved it and paralyzed it. That's not no real need. Awesome. I believe it's down here. Up over here. Do this. I'm up over here. Oh, well, there's definitely TM or something up here. Hang on, what? Okay, there's a specific way to do this. If I push that up, that's gonna move up. If I push that, it's gonna move up that way. How do I do this one? Push that up that way. Nope! Oh, I know how to do it. And it's gonna require me not resetting it every five seconds. Ugh. I need to bump that one up. Use the D-pad so I don't fudge it up. Alright, Dark Pulse. Okay. Don't know why. All right, come back this way. Come up this way. Fight this person. I will say, after this, I'm going to be taking a small break from videos. Just because I've worked really hard to get these out on a consistent time basis. Um, but I am definitely needing to uh, finish wrapping presents and packing things up for me to go to my trip for uh, the holidays. Because we are getting pretty close to the 25th. Uh, hopefully, all of these videos will have been out by now. So, you guys will be able to watch them and everything, but, yeah, so, I will be taking a small break from uploading videos after this series, just to kind of relax a little bit, and then, uh, you know, if something new comes up for Pokemon, I'll do a video if I'm not uh, traveling before then. I don't think anything's going to come up, because I usually don't do anything around the holidays, but I have been proven wrong in the past, so if they do do something for the holidays, then I will let you guys know about it. If there's any in-game events going on. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to just take a small break from uploading videos after getting all of these videos put out. Um, maybe do some shiny hunting for fun and everything. Not really recorded, but just for fun. Uh, to kind of get the hang of the... Well, for one, to test out the, um, to test out the Pokey Radar. So I'm, I've never been very good with the Pokey Radar. Never. Not in Pokemon X and Y, not in the original Pokey, uh, the original Pokey Radar, the original Diamond and Pearl. I've never been really good with the Pokey Radar. So, one, I know I'm going to have to get used to the Pokey Radar. Two, I'll probably do 
my best to get Ditto um, as fast as I can. Pokemon League ahead. Cool. Um, I really hope that... I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna see if there's anything... Uh, that I can use to heal up my Pokemon. Before going in. There's nothing over there. There's nothing up here. Alright. You know what? That's very beautiful to see down there with the uh, the sights and everything. They really did a great job uh, making it look very beautiful, very 3D in this game. I, I think they did a great job uh, with it. The, yes, there are some bugs and everything in it. Uh, before I do go in, I'm going to go back to Sunny Shore City. I'm hoping I can fly back here to where I was because one, I'm going to level, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. I, th I think I did last time when I played this. Now, a lot of people were asking on Twitter, what generations have I not played? Um, and the only generations I haven't played was Generation 3. I played Generation 1. I think everyone's really played Generation 1. Uh, Generation 2, Heart Gold, Soul Silver was one of my favorites uh, for Generation 2. Um, so I played Generation 2. I didn't play Generation 3. Played Generation 4. Not a whole lot, but I did play through the majority of it. Um, I think I just I beat the Elite Four and didn't play it again after that. Um, I played the shit out of Generation 5, Pokemon uh, White, and uh, my friend had Pokemon Black. I heard there is some rumors going around that um, there's some rumors going around that there may be uh, remaking that they may be remaking the 5th gen games, and if they do, do not mess up. Do not mess up at all. ILCA, I am talking straight directly to you, because there are uh, rumors that ILCA, the ones who made this remake, is ma remaking Gen 5. Oh, screw up. That was my favorite generation. However, backing with me, serious again, um, You don't have any PowerPoint potions. Uh, anyways, um, so I didn't play Black and White 2. I didn't get to play Black and White 2. I played the crap out of Black, or not Black, Pokemon White. Uh, um, didn't get to play Black and White 2. I played a little bit of Pokemon Y. I didn't get to play the Auras, uh, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. I didn't get to play those. But um, I played a little bit of Pokemon Y. I haven't. I didn't complete it. I still have it. I haven't completed it yet. Uh, I played Ultra Sun. So I did play Generation 7. Um, so I did play six and, you know, a little bit of six, all of seven. And then, of course, Sword and Shield. <sighs> Excuse me, I gotta go through this whole thing again. I gotta go through this again.
I'm gonna cut back to where I was just because. Yeah. Okay, I'm back, guys. For the most part. Um. Right. Okay, guys, I'm back for the most part. Um, I could not fly back to the area. I had to go back through the entire area again. So I'm not very, uh, wasn't very happy about that. I couldn't fly back to this spot. I don't know why. Was it because I didn't interact with it? I don't know. Yes. It was a Pokemart here you know, this entire time. There was a Pokemart here this entire time. I could have just healed up right here. I could have just healed up right here and got my stuff here. You know what? I forgot to buy revised, so I'll get that here. Oh, that's not, I'm good. I didn't think there was a Pokemon here. At the Pokemon Center. I didn't remember this in the last game. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I know normally they have a Pokemon Center and a Pokemon near the Elite Four. But I didn't see it. I didn't think it was going to be in the damn castle. I am dumb! Oh, well. This is why I do the stupid shit, so you guys don't have to. If you've already played through this and you didn't know it, I'm sorry, you just did a me. You just pulled a me. Ah, oh, thank you. Do you have anything to say besides calling me stupid? Your Pokemon are so calm even though they're going up against the Elite Four. I like how they're so loose and relaxed. Okay. Oh! You're challenging Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's more worthy of taking the ch- Or she would be here. Why did I not think he wouldn't be here? Normally, you always fight your your rival before you go in. I am. Uh... Let's just ignore what I am. Oh, rain dance. Okay. Well, basically, we can my fire type moves. Nice. Good job. The critical. That's fine. It's going to keep getting hurt by its fire spin. I'm just going to calm mind it. So I can get ready for the next battle. Ooh, that hurt. I'm not going to teach him Aura Sphere. 57. 54. Snorlax. Keep. Why didn't that kill him?
There we go. Switch. Why does your grass type know, uh, or why does your water type know grass type? That's weird. I'm kind of glad there's a Pokemon Center right here because I'm gonna have to heal up before I go in. That's why I never got why the, uh, why your rival wants to go up against uh, right before you go into the Elite Four. It's like, dude, you're just weakening my Pokemon before I go in. And you're weakening yours, too, at the same time of doing that. Like, I get there, the Pokemon Center right here, but you're wasting my time. That's the way I've always thought of it. Ouch. Hmm. Which act to infernape. down air cross bug type now oh, dude you can fully believe in it. it's still gonna go down like one hit Yep. Bite is leveling up. Yeah, your team still lost, dude. Oh, rude. Guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you, darn it. Oh, rude. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the toughest Pokemon trainer there is. The champion. You better not lose to anyone before me. Yeah, I don't plan on it. Now, I do actually, uh, I plan on taking, mm, Mew, I had planned on taking Manaphy, but I don't know. 
I'm gonna take Jirachi. I just don't know. Hmm. I'm not quite sure I'm not gonna take Manaphy. I kinda want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just for health's sake, heal him up because putting him in the Pokemon box does not heal him up like they do in the newer games. Alright, there we go. That way they also have their max amount of power points for each move. Alright. To do so, I'll need to examine the gym badges you gather from around Sinnoh. And go for glory. All right, I'm gonna save right here. We're still gonna continue. I'm just gonna save right here because I don't want to screw up. I apparently didn't. I apparently never turned back on auto save. I'm gonna turn that on for right now. Just for good measure, save up again. That way, in case something happens, like my game crashes, which rarely ever happens, I can just be safe for right now. But typically, I save after every time I complete one of the Elite Fours. So when I complete this one, I will save. When I complete the next one, I will get in save. Because if my game should crash, then... I should be fine. Should. Alright. Now he's going to have bug type. Infernape should have no problem sweeping through this team. Should have no problem. Alright. That's good. Good job. Good job, Infernape. Air cross. There we go. Hey, friendship for the win. And it's burn. It's fire spinner. God damn it. Uh, that is not good. Oh, good job. Again, another critical. Aha! And it's burned again. Okay. So we'll go ahead and flame wheel it again because it's going to full restore yet again. How many do you have? Thank you! I wonder how many of those fucking full restore he has. Keep battling. Okay. I'm gonna fire spin it so it can get trapped. That way if it... Never mind. I'm gonna say that way in case it full restores again. He'll be trapped in a fire, uh, fire spin, and the fire spin should take him out. Okay. 
Okay, but it's gonna eat a berry. Citrus, alright. Ooh. Flame will lit again. Grapian. That's his last one, right? I believe it is his last one. It is. Oh, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Alright. Fingers crossed it doesn't do that. Oh, one hit! Oh, you toughed it out. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna swap out Spalkia. Hopefully, this doesn't hurt too bad. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm gonna spatial rend it. He avoided it. How do you avoid that? Good job, Palkia. Alright. That is the first Elite Four down. I never like this guy's hair. He has like one tuft just flapping around. I don't get it. It's the stupidest haircut I've ever seen. Alright. Before we move on to the next room, we heal up. And we save it just to be on the safe side. And we go to the next room. I guess I could save it, like... While I'm in that room. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It'd make more sense. Alright. Let's fight this one. Bertha! Quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got Spine. I'm Bertha. I have a preference for Ground-type Pokemon. I should switch out Infernape immediately. Alright, come on, come on. Yeah. I love you, Infernape. I I don't think you're you're ready for that one. Um only two levels higher than it. Maybe I should have brought out uh, I think Jirachi will be good. Jirachi should be okay. 
Oh wow, my chair locked up. Oh, that's nice. My chair is locked up and it doesn't want to unlock. There we go. Jirachi, you were not the best. You were not what I should have picked. I forgot you were not leveled up high enough. That is bad. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jirachi. Uh, okay, Jirachi. Not... Not good. Does that thing have leftovers? Yeah, it does. Oh, F me. Let's hope Palkia is going to be pulling through on this one. Alright, that's so far landed a critical hit. Thank you, Palkia. Oh, goodbye, it's level 47. Pseudo Udo, let's keep going. I know he's a rock type, but... He's spatial rend again. Palkia, my man. Whiskash, uh, switch. I didn't think Whiskash was a ground type of Pokemon. Yeah, that's a water type. I mean, maybe. Oh no, no effect. It is, it's a ground water type. Okay. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Come on, we can do this, Luxray. You, you're good, you're good. Hey, hey, that's how we do it. Our friendship is saving my ass hard right now. Three times in a row it's moved out of the way. Ooh, let's go! Ah, uh, the bitch has got a full restore. You know what, Luxray? You keep doing you. You keep listening to me. You, you're a good guy. Come on. We got this. I would say Thunder Wave it. Oh, this one's going to hit. Oh, this one's going to hit. Ah, oh, that, that one hit. That one hurt. That one hurt a lot. Oh, God. Alkia. Come on, bud. Um. Okay, that, that that's not too bad. That's not too bad. What is with you in these full restores? How many are you gonna have, lady? Thank you. A 
job, Palkia. Follow him. Let's keep it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Palkia's got this. Palkia's got this. We're doing pretty good with Palkia. Oh, that one's going to hurt. I should have done that at the beginning. Yeah. Damn it. Hawk is down. Hey, doing this. Really do. Infinite. I got one down. Come on, you got one more. You got one more. You're doing good. You're doing good. Come on. Stay in stream. Mm. You got this, Infernape. You got this. I believe in you. Please don't hurt it. Oh, it one hit it. It one hit it. That one hit. I don't like that. No, no, no. I don't like what I'm about to have to do. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel I feel bad that you had to do that for me. Goodbye. You're gonna die. Please, please don't. I would love it if you wouldn't. Oh my God! Thank you, Power of Friendship. Thank you. Okay. Please hit first. I know that's not going to do much. And I'm very sorry. Oh. Uh. I'm not liking this hip powder. I really don't like this hip powder. This snarky ass fucking bitch is what she is. Dear child, don't assume that you've won. So rude. We're gonna rest. I right, to sleep. Ah, uh, use a bitch. And now it's gonna use a bear to wake it up. Spatial rent. I didn't want to use it yet, but special rep. Spatial rent again. Oh, she was a bitch. I don't remember her being that hard. Fourteen thousand dollars. Hey, I like how you and your Pokemon earn by earn the win by working as one. That's what makes you a strong. I think that you can go far as you want. Well, before I go any further, I need to heal all my Pokemon you fucking killed.
Oh, no, I need something in the berries. Which one gives me power points? Which berry gives me power points? None. I don't have any that will up its PowerPoint. Damn. Well, that's number two down. This is going to be a water type gem. So that means, Alkia, you're going to the front again. Oh, no, no. I'm also going to save real quick. That way, in case I die, I can just soft reset it. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in a battle? Whatever, Afro dude. Really? Oh my god, it's gonna make it go to sleep. Uh. Ouch. I think I can take one more hit. As long as it doesn't land a critical. Low punny switch. Fainted. Steal it. Let's keep doing it. There you go. Come on. Yes, keep avoiding those attacks. Fuck, you're full restore. How many are y'all gonna have? Jesus. Good as burnt. I'm gonna fire spin it. Never mind, that's gonna miss. Fire spin. Come on. Hit this time. Hit. What's going on? Okay. Thank you. Alright.
The bite is going to evolve after this. Drift Blim, which is the flying ghost type. I'm going to switch. Luxray. That's going to burn me. Thank you, Lux Ray. Now let's do a bite, which is super effective against the ghost type of them. Ooh. Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Uh, come on. There, you're determined to burn me, huh? I hate your berries. Minimize again. Yeah, because it's going to avoid attack every time it minimizes. Are you really going to do minimize every time? Oh my god. Thank you. Killed it. Let me ask one more. Infernape. Go ahead and swap to Mew because I haven't used it yet. But let's go and use Mew's Ancient Power. And hopefully that takes down its Infernape. That is a level 61 Infernape. That's gonna hurt. Mew, I believe in you. I still believe in you. Yeah, you're gonna heal it. Come on. Because you're going to do that, healing mine up. Come on, hit first, hit first. Damn it! Come on, hold on. Ah! Why didn't you hold on, Mew? Why couldn't you hold on? Okay, Jirachi. I believe in you. Let's do this. Zen headbutt him. Hey, that's down. Ooh, I think we only lost one Pokemon in there. The bite is going to fully evolve into Garchomp. And then all I'd have to do is send over my Machoke to my boyfriend Alvin to get Machamp. And then 
encounter Spirit Tomb. And then I just need to encounter the the three Lake Fairies and I can get the Pokey Radar. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. Right here. I have something that used this for Palkia right there. Okay, now. Go up to the next area, because that's only the third one. Let's go fight the fourth one. Who seems to be a ghost type. If that's the case. Actually, yeah. Okay. Save. I believe she's a ghost type. You timed your arrival well. I just finished reading a book. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am the user of psychic types. Type. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Well, if you end up knocking me out, I will be soft resetting to come back. Because I don't think putting Mew in this kind of situation was the best idea. But, uh... Let's just see what we have. Mr. Mind. So use ancient power, see how well that hits. Uh oh, I hate light screen. Do life day real quick. Let me use ancient power again. It's not going to do much. life do it again oh it's hanging on by a mere thread he's going to dazzling gleam it again is that the only move that dude knows
Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Oh, Mew toughed it out. I'm sorry, Mew. I'm sorry. Oh. It's so close to being down. Oh, the light screen worn off, finally. See, I got guard chomp. Oh, Jirachi out there. Oh, it's the full restore method. Good job, Jirachi. Meteor mash it again. That's good, that's good, that's good. Doing great. On. The attack just keeps getting higher. Medicham. That's a fighting type, so keep. Going, keep going. His attack keeps going higher. We're doing great. Come on. Never mind. That's gonna one hit it. Um. Come on, Lux Ray. Come on. That's two down. Alakazam. I keep going. My leg keeps hitting my chair lock. That's oh, level sixty. We saw an attack. Come on, I believe in you, Luxray. Come on. Shockwave. Okay, that's three down. She's going to have two more. She, he, I don't know at this point. I'm not trying to gender, misgender identify. I just don't know if it's a girl or a guy. Maybe it's neither. I don't know. Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. Hang on. 120. Let's go ahead and get rid of Flame Wheel. Giraffe which is a normal psychic. Trick room. Oh, crap. Ooh, psychic. All right. Come on. Come on. That's another one down. This is it going to be her last one or his last one, their last one? It looks like we finally hit level 60. 
Bronzong. Switch. Infernape. Come on, Infernape. I know you can do this. Try the Flare Blitz. Ooh. I don't like that Earthquake one. I don't like that at all. Uh, that kills it. Thank you. That's the Elite Four done. Next, we have a really, really tough one. Cynthia, with the champion. Oh, this is going to be fun. You've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with Pokemon League. It remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. I will once I heal my team up. I'm very happy I stocked up on revives. <laughs> I'll do two max ethers. Wait. Dragon Claw. Post combat. Elixir. Okay, I think I have as best as I can possibly I think I have pretty much almost everything I could possibly do to maximize my efficiency of this. She's a dragon type. That means Alkia step up to the front I'm saving right here. Oh. This is going to be difficult. Oh. Yep, right there. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's do it on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Thank God I saved before I entered this room because I couldn't do it in front of her. Yep, six versus six. This is not going to be fun. Ooh, Spirit Tomb. So I've already encountered Spirit Tomb now. Now I just got to go and get the lakes. The lake monsters. Or lake monsters? <laughs> lake fairies. Uh, that's a ghost type. Dark type. See what this does. Not much. Shadow Ball. I'm not liking this at all, guys. It's gonna heal up the citrus berry, I know it. It's 
almost dead. It's gonna dart pulse it. Oh, I'm sorry, Palkia. Oh, guys, this is not looking good. Oh, this is not looking good. Alright. That's one down for each of us. Gastrodon. Um, switch. Oh, it's no longer telling you what's super effective and what's effective. Um, Gastrodon's a ground type. Infernape. I know it could learn. I know it may have the move Muddy Water, but. Oh. The best I got right now. Well, Infernape, you remember all the times that we bought? Come on, bud. Oh, don't hurt me! I don't like it when you hurt me! Damn it! It's gonna heal up because of leftovers. Oh, close combat again. Mm. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh, I killed it. I'm sorry, Infernape. Okay. And now it's actually telling me what's effective and what's... and all that kind of stuff. Luxray, I'm going back with you, bud. Oh, this is not looking good! Gonna heal up again with his leftovers. Again, it's gonna do nothing. Oh my gosh. Paralyze it. Paralyze it. Nope, it doesn't affect it. I think I just screwed up, guys. Yeah. You know what I could do, though? So I could do this. Gonna use an earthquake. Thank you for holding out for me. I'm so sorry. You gotta heal up one of them. You don't have any moves that's gonna affect it. Oh, I may have to freaking reset and do this again. Sorry, Luxray. Hey, keep on healing up, fucker. Let's combat it. I really hope that's not 1 HP in there. Fucker has one HP. You know what? I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm just gonna hit it the same. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Kill it again. All right. I think that's two down. My lotic. Which ah, butthole? K. 
Okay. I'm gonna have to heal up. I'm gonna have to sacrifice Mew to heal up. Luxray. And I may have to sacrifice my other ones as well. Okay, okay. That didn't kill you. It burnt you, but you're fine. Synchronize. Ah, oh, bitch! You're burned too. That's what you get. Fucking meanie. Max potion. Alright. We're gonna see what kind of damage we can do with Mew. Never fucking mind, Mew is dead. Okay. Oh, Cynthia's not liking us in one bit, ain't she? Luxray? For all that is holy, please work for me, baby. Oh, I only got two of hers down. Don't hurt, don't hurt, don't... Oh... What level is it? 63? Come on, Luxray. I can't. I got. I gotta heal him up. I gotta heal him up. Ice beam. Fuck. Oh. I'm really hoping it is an ice beam again. Oh, shit nuggets. Come on. Because it toughed it out. This bitch just full restored. Ain't fun when you do it to me, huh, bitch? You know what I'm gonna do? Thunder wave it. Damn it! Well, both moves fail, so... Underwave, come on. Hit this time. Damn it! Hate that her move gets to go first. She has faster speed. How does my move fail? Oh, this isn't looking good, guys. No. He's dead. I may have to soft reset. I hate this fucking champion. I'm not kidding when I say I hate this champion. I can't even waste time to, you know, heal up my... Use my status booster for me because it's gonna just one hit me in no time see okay I guess it didn't one hit me but still
I'll call mind it, but there's no way that it's gonna it's gonna be alive after this. A mirror coat failed, so maybe. Confusion. I was confused now. Doesn't mean anything. Yep, there it is. That's dead. Oh, it healed the burn with determination. Well, that works. I don't think I have anything else. Do I have a full restore? I do. She's probably going to full restore hers. You see, confusion does nothing. I can sit there and confuse them all day, every day, and no, nothing. It will sit there and legit just do nothing. I'll call mind it one more time, but I don't think it's going to do anything. Quite honestly. Yep. Snapped out of his confusion. Scald. Oh, come on. Scald again. Avoided the damn attack and this move failed. Let me guess, it's gonna avoid the attack again, huh? It didn't do shit. It just flinched it. I'll just sit here and use confusion again. Finally, it's melodic is done. Oh, Jesus. I don't even think I have. I don't have very many Pokemon left. I really don't. It's got fucking Rosary to come out now. Sludge Bomb. Its speed is faster than mine. My internet's gonna die after this. Recoil. Waiting for the recoil damage. Right there it is. Oh my Jesus Christ. Lucario! Eep. I don't... I still haven't seen its fucking guard chomp. That's because that's our last one. That healing was for fucking nothing. That killed it. He may not have killed it, but this move is gonna kill it. Yep, right there. 
Oh my god. Guys. You guys know what this means. I have one and a half Pokemon left. And she's got one. And her guard chomp is a bitch. I'm really put in a corner, huh? I feel like I'm being put in a corner and being whipped like it's no tomorrow. Whips and chains and hooks. Fuck. Everything. I've got to heal Palkia. It's the only thing I have right now. Why does Earthquake even affect you, Jirachi? You are floating! Alright, Chomp. Here we go. Got mine out too, bitch. Let's go. Guard chomp to guard chomp. Let's fucking do it. Actually, idiot, I'm a hyper heal this because I don't have very very high faith in um, guard chomp right now. Not in mine. Yeah, that's gonna kill it. Right there. Right fucking there. I am fucked. Yep. Oh, this ain't fun, guys. You know what I'm going to have to do? I might have to sacrifice a little bit of my Palkia to heal up my other ones just to make sure I'm good. Dragon Claw is going to hurt it. It's going to kill it! Never fucking mind! Why bother, right? I'm glad I healed up Infernape, but guess what? Infernape's probably fucked too! I probably don't have any shot in hell! Infernape, some I, I love you sometimes. I'm not kidding. Yep, this is gonna hurt it. This is gonna kill it, when likely. Hmm. If y'all know where I'm going with this, I'm just trying to get the revives out. No, nope, that's gonna kill it. I'm fucked either way, aren't I, guys? Big ol' capital F-U-C-K-E-D. Fucked. -a. Maybe I'll get a fucking spe spatial rent. Nope. Dragon Claw. Kill it. I'm getting pissed at this fucking champion. Like, no, like, there's no goddamn tomorrow. Just kill me so I can soft reset. Yeah. Just kill me. And we're back. Round two, guys. Let's hope this works. Fuck you, Cynthia. Shut the hell up. Stop talking. Just get to it. You're a bitch. I don't like you. And I'm ready to just kick your ass so I can get it over with because I'm never fighting you again. Oh, great. Shadow Ball. That's gonna take half my health.
Let me thundershock it, see what that does. If you want to. Oh, that kills it. Withdrew it to throw out Roserade. And it still did some damage. Fuck your Dazzling Gleam. By the way, if y'all want to say hi to my boyfriend, he's right here. Hi. There, there you go. Yeah. Uh, so you're, you're, you're not in. You're far away. I don't know where the hell your camera's at. It's pointing towards me right here. Whatever. At least hi, everybody. Oh, you expelled my, the poison. Oh, I love you so much. Maybe things are looking wrong. Maybe. I say maybe. Things aren't really, you know, all that well with me at the moment. Fire blitz it. That seemed to have one hit it. There's a special attack. Okay. Mario's down. Rose Raid's down. Gastrodon is the one that was a pain in the ass. Let's keep. Let's combat it. Critical, thank you. Come on, Infernape, I trust in you. Don't fucking monkey fuck! Alkia. I don't have anything that has sleep. I'm gonna spatial rend it. I think that took it down a little bit. Killed it. So that's three of hers down, and I think like three of mine down. No, two of mine down. There's her spirit tomb. Let's keep on Palkia. Dragon rend it. Or spatial rend it. Not dragon rend it. The spatial rend it. Aw, oh, super close. Fuck your citrus berry! Dark pulse. God damn it. Oh, you you topped it out. I love you so much, Palkia. Even though you're not shiny. If you can get the spatial rend off first, I will heal you. Yes! Thank you! Milotic. Huh. 
My switch. No, oh, it's dead. Jirachi. Jirachi did very good with Meteor Match. Forgot she has Milotic, and then it's going to be Guard Song. I know. Calm Mind it, because it's just going to use Scald, and it doesn't hurt Jirachi all that much. I can conf use Confusion, and that'll work with it. It's tedious, but it works. Okay, it's going to use Scald. That's fine. Oh, being burned is not fun. Confusion. Oh, it's going to be scald again. Yeah, I'm going to have to heal it. Hang on. I'm a hyper potion. Actually, I'm a full restore this one. That should get rid of the burn as well. I think it may not. Scald. And while Jirachi's out. I'm going to max potion Palkia. It's going to scald it again. It shouldn't kill it. I'm trying to think here. Ag. Revive. Hang on. How many Pokemon does she have? She has this one and her guard saw. So let's revive this one. Infernape. Scald it again. That kills Jirachi. Unfortunately. I'm hoping this doesn't kill Palkia. Ancient power, come on. Good job, good job, Palkia. I'm praising you. Please, no, not Ice Beam. I fucking hate you. Oh, thank you! You melted the ice! Now, can you just please bite the head off this bitch? I fucking hate Recover! I don't think I hate this bitch more than I do in this game. Oh, recover. Again. Big old middle finger. Big old middle finger to you, Cynthia. I don't think I have anything to give it power points. But I does have... I do have some of these that I can give it next turn. Or not next turn, but... I'll use an X attack to up its attack. 
Oh, you moved. Thank you, Palkia. I love you. Ice beam, I fucking hate it. Ice beam again, I fucking hate it. And the bitch uses the full restore. I fucking hate it. I don't think I've ever hated something so goddamn much, but this bitch in this game. Thank you, my Lotic is dead. Now I have a goddamn guard chomp to do, which is probably gonna beat my cheeks in. Oh, fuck off, Cynthia. The bitch is gonna be... Hopefully not too quick. Oh, I killed it in one shot! Thank you, Palkia. I love you to the end of time. Even though you're not shiny, you did me so goddamn much. Uh, thank you. Finally, the bitch is done. It only took like three resets. <laughs> this is the second time fully battling her, but I had to do three resets because I screwed up on one of my entrances. With Mew being the beginning and none of its attacks are going to hit Spiritu. Don't care. Now the newest champion, 26,928. I don't know why anybody would want to fight Cynthia after they get Heatran when her fucking guard chomp is level 88. Everyone said they had trouble with Garchomp. I had the tr biggest trouble with my Lottie. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty <laughs> to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the list. Oh my god. Again, I know I said episode 11 would be like the longest episode. This is probably going to be the longest episode. But again, this is the finale, so... The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Here's Professor Rowan. Her last battle was splendid. Oh, don't tell me about it, Rowan. A child I enlisted for my po Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Techno. Professor Ron, I need you over here as well. It's been a long while since I last entered this room, but the last time you were here was when I became champion. Then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, Techno. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Sorry. 
It's now saving. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Luxray. Garchomp. Infernape. Palkia. Mew. And Jirachi. And most importantly, me. 64 hours and 10 minutes. Most of those hours were shiny hunting Palkia, which turned out to be a failure. Oh. Well, guys. That concludes our episode in our series. We are now in the credits. So, I hope you guys, I'll let the credits play out. Oh. Cynthia was a bitch to beat. I don't know why anybody would want to go back and fight her after getting Heatran, which levels up her guard chomp to level 88. Why you would want to do it again. Uh, kudos to you if you can do that. Um, kudos to all you that are that insane. Beating her this one time was a pain in the ass. So that concludes our episode of Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now, as I said earlier in the live stream, I will be taking a small little break uh, from uploading just because we finally finished the series and I've worked really, really hard on trying to upload these series for you guys in a very timely fashion, in a fast fashion, even while being sick. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to finally take the time I need to take maybe a little bit of a break. Um, my little break is going to feed into my holiday break because I do need to wrap gifts. I do need to pack up and get ready for my trip to Texas um, for the holidays. Since this is probably going to be the last video I upload before the holidays, I hope you guys have a safe holiday season, a very Merry Christmas, and I'll do everything I can to do a shiny hunt before the end of the year. That's right, I'm going to try to do a live stream shiny hunting through using the Pokey Radar on a live stream on here before the end of 2021. Um, and yeah, so I will be back after I come back from uh, Texas. I'll upload more videos. I'll live stream some more. I hope you guys enjoyed the series of you know, me just coming out and being a goofball and getting freaking mad at Cynthia this last part and the other first gym that I failed at. But I hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you guys did, leave a like rating. If you haven't seen all of the series, they're all in the playlist on my channel. Make sure you check on my playlist. Click on the Shining Pearl playlist or Pokemon Shining Pearl playlist. And there, you'll be able to see all of the episodes leading up to this moment. If you guys are looking forward to me shining hunting on live streams, let me know down in the comments down below. If you have played through this and you went through a different route or anything, let me know what you guys did differently than what I did. Um, but I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. I don't know how much longer these credits are going to go at all but uh yeah trying trying to see where all the credits are going to come out through credits are still rolling there's the special things the debug artists or the debug management i should say the game was fun the game was a lot of fun it reminded me a lot of the times of when i did play through um when i was younger I couldn't remember everything that I did when I was younger, but again, they did change some things up in the game to make it more new. And I kind of like the way they did it. Um, I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of the chibi style characters, but I can kind of get through it or bypass it considering it is staying true to the original story. That being said, um, I have three lake fairies I need to try to find. I also... I'm going to be uploading videos of the events that come through. So when the events come through for 
Shaman, uh, Darkrai, Deoxys, and Arceus. When they come up, I will be doing a video for those for you guys, as well as telling you guys how to do it when the time is going to be for those events. I'm looking very forward to shiny hunting and doing all those things. Our mom is right here. We're not in our clothes that I bought $98,000 for. I don't know why. I just decided to go back home, I guess. The end. Okay. Um, I hope you guys, again, I hope you guys liked the series. I hope you guys have, you know, had fun watching me make a fool of myself and all this and that. Again, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays on whatever holiday you guys may be. Uh, okay, guys. No matter what holiday you guys are celebrating. Um, hope you guys have a very Merry Holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, all of those. Uh, and on top of that, if I don't get to do the live stream before New Year's Eve, Happy New Year's. Stay safe if you guys go out and... Just remember, I'm very happy you guys are here, and I'll see you guys in the next live stream or video. Peace.